Hi there everyone, this is Fred or Mr. Fred from GetMeCoding.com and we're going to go over in this tutorial how to work with what's known as the broadcast. And broadcast is a really great way to kind of get things to happen when other things happen. So let's take a look. First of all, what we're going to try to do in this tutorial is we're going to show how Scratch the Cat is going to make something happen. So we know that Scratch is here on our screen and when we, when we interact with him, we're going to have him actually do something and then have something else appear. Okay, now we're going to add another sprite into this. And the other sprite that we're going to call upon here is going to be the crab, which is a fun one to work with. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do an event where when clicked, the crab, which is highlighted here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide him. So he's not appearing, of course. We're going to say, have scratch the cat, do something magical, and then the crab appears. So we got to, first of all, hide the sprite. Now remember, everything we, every time we select a sprite, we're basically assigning these blocks or that script to this particular sprite. And we do that with everything in all of our animations and all of our games. So we're going to begin doing that. And now with scratch, we're going to come over here to events. And this one is going to be a little bit different. We're going to show how you interact with it. We're going to actually use the space bar. So when someone clicks the space bar, something will happen. So for example, when this, we click the space bar, we're going to see a, or a, a speech bubble appear. And what we could do is we could say something along the lines of something magical or something like hocus pocus or something, right? Hocus pocus. All right, now, the next thing we will do is for the crab to appear, we have to show him, but we're going to have that happen after we hit the space key. So we're going to do a broadcast. And that is with this block here. And you'll notice that it has a drop down here and, and it says message. We're going to say a new message. And it's usually a good idea to use messages that are descriptive so that you know what they mean. So we're going to say appear and click OK. So the crab will appear when it hears the broadcast message called up here. So we're going to click over to the, uh, to the crab. And when I receive, and you can see there's a drop down here up here when that's when we want, we're going to go ahead and show him. See how it works. All right. So we're going to start our animation here. There's scratch. I hit the space bar. And there he is. He says hocus pocus, and there's the uh, crab appearing. Now, one of the things that I think you could see is that it, it happened pretty quick. So let's create a little bit of a delay. With Scratch, we know that he we click that, he says that, and then it broadcasts. Well, how about we have a little bit of a delay? And to do that, we'll go to events, or excuse me, control, and then we're going to go to await, break that off, Put that in there. A second might seem like a short amount of time, but it's actually probably long enough. So let's run our animation. We hit the space bar, hocus pocus, boom, crab appears. All right, now, what if you want him to disappear? It's the same idea. So we're gonna come in here, and since we're still working with Scratch, this time we're gonna use a different key so we don't get it too confused, but we're gonna, just so for demonstration purposes, we have the left arrow. So when somebody clicks the left arrow, let's do another say, or another speech bubble. And this time we'll come up with something like, um, how about, let's see. Abra Capocus. <laughs> or something funny. We'll toss another wait in there for one second. And now this time we're going to do another broadcast. And this time we're going to make something called, well, let's call it disappear. And do OK. Now, the crab, once again, when you receive the disappear broadcast, which is initiated by clicking the left arrow, we're going to make him hide. All right, so let's see how this works. I click my green flag, hit my space bar, 
Hocus Pocus. Poof. The crab appears. I hit the left arrow key. Abracopocus. And the crab is gone. Okay, so in this tutorial, we just kind of showed you now how to work with the broadcast and a little bit about interaction with the keyboards, which you're going to see a little bit more of a little later on. Hope this helps, everybody.